So now if we want to do a uh, backup a CMT file, we'll back up CMT program number five to the USB disk and then restore it. So first thing, um, you would prepare this over here, select CNC to USB, let it pick a file name. You'll need to remember what the Mazak file name is later. Um, so let's start. So now the USB is ready to receive a Mazak file. Uh, select data I.O. on the Mazak tool. CMT. You want to uh, save an NC file to the CMT. Um, and then at this point, let's select the workpiece number, which is 5. And press input. It'll show up on this side, and I'll say here that we're going to be saving CMT. So what we want to do is, this is prepared already, waiting, and then we press start now on the Mesa Troll. It'll turn purple, and then when it's completed, it'll show up and show you here that it received the file. So now it's received the file on the CMT device, our USB CMT. So now let's bring that back in. So we'll first want to get rid of program 5. We'll take uh, erase program 5, workpiece 5. Now it's gone. So now it's loaded it back. So let's go back to data I.O. CMT. And now we want to load from CMT device back to NC. Come back on this side. Oops, I goofed that up. So now uh, we're going to do is send the file back to the uh, CNC. Uh, I have the same file here in five. Prepare the Mesa Troll. Oh, we've got to put our workpiece in here, number five. So it's going to be loading five back in. And what? It'll show up five first here for a start on the Mesa Troll. It'll turn purple. When you first start, it'll now be receiving the file back. And when it's completed, it'll show up over on this side. So now we have program five loaded back in. Now if you look at the program map, program file. So now we have program 5 loaded back in.